Good afternoon from Yami B TV. Um, fresh from um, the chapel service, rest in peace, Phil Curry. I broke down in there. It's a very, very sad time for me. Um, bloody hell, it was deep in there. So, a um, couple of hours later, um, we're going to the wake very shortly to finish it off down there. PJ Maguire was in there. The big man from Manchester was in there, hoping he could pop in a little bit and maybe have a little word at the end, see how that goes. PJ Maguire did not want to talk today. He's never done no podcast. He doesn't really watch stuff. It's not his kind of scene. But all I'm going to do is not his life story. I'm just having a quick chat with him. I met him in the Cat Hayes way back in the day. I saw him at the Mason Carter fight. I think it was a few months ago, weren't it, PJ? Yeah. But this is PJ Maguire, right? Nice to see you, PJ. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, PJ, what was I was going to say, um, I was going to say, I can't, I can't even remember, is it Bristol or Gloucester or both? Or I, whatever, I, the West I, Country. I'm from I'm from Gloucester. I mean, born and bred. Right, how many years you spent in um, prison in the Cat A's in total throughout your life? In the prison, 25 to 30 years, Cat A's, Five years. I did my last one was five years. A little bit more in in uh, Long Island. Long Island. Yeah. Golden Minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the best place to learn. Long you know Island. I loved it. I know I it's right. It. Imagine that it's around the corner. I know. It's, it's crazy. Madness. So you know, earlier on, PJ, like, right, because obviously you turned your life around now, yeah. right? So in the beginning of time, right, when you first started out, started out on that journey. How old was you? The first places you went to, kind of thing, in the build-up. Yeah. Um, what led you to, you know? Commit? Me, I come from, I come from an Irish family. There's ten of us. Yeah. You know what I mean? My older brothers were all criminals, and I used to watch them commit crime, and I used to watch the police come and kick the doors down, take them all away, and I swore blind to my parents. I said, "Listen, I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to be like that." I, you know what I mean? Because I seen the pain, and you know what I mean. And just, and I, I stuck to it. I was 11, 12. Then I had some friends yeah. who were always, um, they were always getting put in boarding school and things right. like that because yeah. they, were, they were committing crime. Yeah. They were doing little petty criminals. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they were my friends. And I used yeah. to always go and see them and all that. And I used to see them with trainers and new clothes. And I used to mm. always be intrigued because I always had second hand stuff. It's yeah. all we can afford. And I say, where did you get the trainers from? And they say, oh, we did this job, we did that job. And I thought, I said, that ain't for me. And then six months later, I wanted them trainers. What age? At 12 and a half, 12. I wanted them trainers. So Remember your first ever prison sentence? My first ever prison sentence is uh, Ball Store, uh, Portland. Portland? Mm. Bad back then. Yeah, fucking bad in the Give us some background on it. Just listen, it just, it, it, it made, I went in there a kid, it, it turned me into a beast, a man. What kind of crime, sorry? I went in, I went in there, um, I accidentally, well they, they said I accidentally chopped a bus driver up. Accidentally, yeah. Yeah. Allegedly, yeah. So what was that, that charge there? Um, it was, um, I think it was section 18, so I... And you got, what, nine months to two years, Borsal? Oh, no, no, I had four years to team. Four, oh, after you got the same section to <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh! So I, I had a big one. Yeah, let us know about Portland, sorry. Yeah, Portland was just, it just, it was just crazy. It was just, you think about it, you got the prison system now and the prison system then. You got the screws now. Their background here, they come from Liddles. Yeah. You know what I mean? They come from things like that. Then, mm. back then in the Borsal days, the screws I knew, they were ex SAS, so they were ex army. So it was just all military. It was all, everything was ruled by fear, discipline. violence. Yeah, it was discipline. Listen, you got told once to do some at. Yeah. And then, if you, you know what I mean? You didn't get told second time, you just get beat to fuck. Any early fights in there? Do you remember? You yeah, I used to have, listen, I used to have wars with freaking, nothing worse. When, I mean, I love the Welsh now. I'm a grown up man. Yeah. Oh my God, they were so racist. Fucking yeah, the Welsh used to eat us English, <laughs> <laughs> and they would just pick a fight. You know what I mean? You talk. Oh, yeah, man, they was one of the. Yeah. You know I mean, in Wales, it was most of the hardest people I ever met. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know what I mean. You was just like one. yeah, you had like you yeah. know, we, we, we were young. You had like London lot, you had Birmingham lot, yeah. but they everybody stuck together except the Welsh. Yeah. The Welsh would just want if you didn't talk Welsh, you know what I mean? You were the enemy. So then, how long did you serve out that four detained? I think I I, I, I saved a couple of months. That was yeah. it. So you've done about three years in change. Yeah. yeah. And got out at what age, PJ? Um, it was like 20, just over 20. So the, with one of the first big questions I'm going to ask you, all right, because there's two Maguires going back in history, because <laughs> yeah. you were allegedly, or the other Maguire, allegedly, yeah. right, because you're a bit like me, you chat a lot of shit, you never know what's oh, true yeah. and what's facts or fiction. Yeah. So I'm not putting you on the spot or anything, but yeah. one, you was meant to, or he was meant to have been involved in one of those early prison 
riots. Yeah, the Pucker Church. Like that. The Pucker Church riots. We was, I was there. I was involved in Pucker it. Pucker Church. Well, I've never heard of it. Bristol. Bristol. It was the Young Offenders. You know what I mean? Uh, it was called. It was a YC place, a remand centre. It was a shithole. You know what I mean? It was a shithole. How did it all start? Come on. Just. All I remember is like it started off. It started off with in the nineties. You had the Strange Rays riot, and you had like you had the you had the London Manchester. Everything started kicking off. All the jails were getting going up in riots. Right. And then it was it was the talk in Bristol. Yeah. Like, listen, we've got to join. You know what I mean? Not we. They've got to join. So yeah. I'm I'm only a young kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and then one day, if, you know what I mean the in them days, the screws would come around with a big massive her and a T. They'd open the door, they'd give you a cup, you'd have a cup, you'd have a cup of tea, no sugar, tastes like shit, but they'd give you like a, a bun with some currants in it. But you were so hungry, it just, you know what I mean, you had to eat it. God, and then, nice. you know what I mean, and then that day when the riots was going on, someone, you know what I mean, the screw opened the door to give him a cup of tea, the screw got wrapped up, chucked back in the cell, and then the, the keys got taken off him, and then everybody got let out, and we all parted. My days. <laughs> Let's just um, go into that a little bit more, PJ. Yeah. Right. How long did that go on for? And give us uh, some of the three, kind of the behaviour I think that it was, was given by the inmates at, yeah, it was, in that in that position there, because all hell. Oh one. yeah, the place got burnt down. It was three days. The place got shut down. Burnt. Every there was not one thing left. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was just. It was. It was crazy. It was like I remember being on the roof for uh, two or three days, just. You know what I mean? That was it, just rioting. And you had the cameras coming over the walls, you had the you had the fire engines firing water at us. Any opportunity, you know what I mean? They just let us they just let us do it. You know what I mean? And then when they were ready they'd come in for us. Yeah, but the, the running around during the riots, the weren't yeah. the pharmacy getting broken into what about the canteen? Yeah, everything. Um, when the fights going off because there's a strong rumour that um inmates some inmates were taking the prison's officers' uniforms and putting them off. Yeah. Do you know what there was a time Facts off it fact yeah fact there was a time i could tell you a time when we were on the roof and we had a hole in the roof and we'd get down and run across the, one of the landings and there'd be the gates iron gates and we'd start chucking stuff at the screws and then they would you know what I mean then we'd run back again we was doing this for about six or seven hours going down making sure they weren't getting in yeah. as soon as they try and get in we'd go down again and we'd stop them again and uh, you know what I mean not known to us every time we'd come up what they were doing they were cutting the gate they were cutting the bar, cutting the bar. So you imagine six hours, we were going down there, chucking stuff at them, and then we'd bugger off. And as we'd buggering off, they were cutting the bar. So this one time we'd all gone down there, about 10 of us, running at them, because they was coming back to the bars again. Unknown to us, they've cut it. So the bars come slamming down on the floor. Wow. So the screws come running at us. So yeah. boom, we're running back out of the hole. I've come out of the hole first, and I've got a massive slab and I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the boys. I can see all the boys, they're coming up and they're coming up. And all I can see is a prison warden's hat. So I'm there with a slab. So I bring the slab up, I chuck it six foot into the hole, split the, I can see the hat split in half. You know what I mean? The guy I hear, I, I basically, I split his head, just wrote him off. And what made it worse is as soon as he hit the floor, I realised it was one of our friends wearing a prison uniform. So they blamed you, but it was probably the other Maguire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, I'm being serious. Yeah, but we had a good crack then. Yeah, but PJ, what, 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 so what, how long did it last anyway? How many days? That one, three days. So Three days. I think it was a Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And on the Sunday, I think, yeah. because all the all the healthcare got robbed. Everybody, 90% of the people were off their heads. You know what I mean? All the drugs were taken and all yeah. that kind of crap. I didn't bother because I never touched drugs then. Yeah. So it was just like, and then after the third day, we had a, we had like a, uh, like a, we'd had enough. They'd had enough. So the screws come in and said, right, you come down one at a time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was involved in right. the but Yeah. So I, I know exactly, but not as bad as that. Yeah. So did, what happened? Everyone got well, shipped no, out? No, we got, well, all it was, we come down one at a time, you'd walk across, because you've got to remember, you've got the TV cameras looking over the fence filming yeah. us. Yeah. So we'd walk across a yard, one at a time, yeah. and we'd get to a door, and they'd open the door, and they'd say, step through the door, and they would shut the door. Five minutes later, and everyone would walk across. You'd open the door, they'd open the door, you step through, my, my turn come, I've come across the yard now, and they say, open the door, I've opened the door, they've pushed me in, shut the door, there's five or 10 screws there. 
with bats. Yep. Oh, keep that fucking living daylight out of us. I love it. Yeah, dragging me, playing me. When I wouldn't scream, they was asking me why I wasn't screaming. And when I was screaming, they were saying, why are you screaming? <laughs> That's what it was It was like, crazy, folks. yeah. So PJ, that was, that was the sentence. Oh, no, that was the detained sentence. That was, I was on remand. You was on remand? Remand then, yeah. Was that after the first sentence? No, this was before. Oh, before you got sentenced? Yeah. So that could have played a part <laughs> in you getting the yeah. detained. You was a bad kid at that Yeah. Age. Yeah, because to get a detained is very, very mm. difficult, especially at four years. Yeah. Because they scrapped it round about then, the detained, yeah. Yeah. around about that time. They made it illegal, didn't they? They made it illegal, yeah. so you was probably one of the last lot. Yeah. Right, so PJ, when you came out from the sentence then, what? Tried to go straight. How old did you have been? No, then? I didn't try to go straight. You would have been about how old then? I was sixteen. Oh, no, I was. I come out when I was twenty, twenty-one. Oh yeah, twenty, twenty-one. Yeah. So what? What happened when you come out? No, I was, that was it. it was my life was started. I was life of crime. Yeah, but when I met you, you was a gunslinger. You was not all. You was in for something else, uh, robberies. Oh, robbery then, yeah. But you well, got after that. What, when, how did the crimes progress? It just progressed. What it was, it was just where I met people inside. Yeah. I like come with good friends. I had I had connections in London. I had connections yeah. in Wales. I had yeah. connections in Birmingham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So you're well known everywhere. Yeah, it's just like you know what I mean. Either they'd come down, you commit crime with them, or you go up to them and commit crime. So how long did you last after that for that sentence? Uh, I think twelve months. And then back in again. I, mean, I, can't, I can't remember it was a couple of years. What for? How long? Um, I think this one was it was just so much stupid, like a, a commercial burglary or something. And you got how long? Um, I think it was. I think it was two or four years. Do you remember where you did that? Yeah, I remember it was, it was a, a, a point, it was a drinks place, it was funny. Mm. We'd done the drinks place and, it, you know what I mean, we had we had a, an arctic full of drink. Yeah. And then we were supposed to take it to this uh, farmyard. Yeah. And the farmer said, yeah, bring it all to me. But what he was expecting, he was expecting a van full of drink. Yeah. I turned up in an arctic, didn't I? Okay. So he said to me, he said, you're taking the fucking piss. He said, you're you were coming with a van. I said, well, this is a van, isn't it? <laughs> then what he just I know he just turned he said you can't bring that here so me being greedy I said right lads I said let's go and take it to our mum's house I said we're we'll just chuck it in the garden got an arctic drink I'm, my mum's garden is probably about 50 60 foot long the place it was 12 foot high it took us an hour to load it all into my mum's garden unknown to me someone's walked past and called the police so the police are not going to come to my house because they're not sure and we at that time I had brothers and all that and as soon as the police would turn out we would just fight yeah. we, we were anti-police we were anti it was just one of those things a couple turned out let's smash them up cool. and let's have fun with them and that was it so they waited to the morning and then obviously the job we did come over yeah so that's when they come then so you got you, you served that sentence yeah well you? well it was they come to my house and all that and then they freaking obviously they, they arrested me my mum my dad. Bad. It's like, you know I mean? They took the piss, really. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They Anything took that. to get a result, wind yeah. you up, so you plead guilty and let everybody go. Um, it just, yeah. Yeah, there's all kind of. And there was a funny thing to that one, is it was funny as fuck, because one of my mates who was there with me, he stayed at our mum's with me. Yeah. Right? No, this, the police have come now. You look at this, the police have come. I'm coming downstairs now, and I'm looking for my trainers. I'm a size 8 trainer. Right? I'm looking for my trainers, and I'm thinking, I can see a size 10 trainer, they're dirty. And I know, I know they're my mate's trainers, he's warm on the job. So I look at my, my mate's there, he's being arrested. I look at him, he's got my size 8 trainers on. You know what I mean? He's looking at me laughing, thinking, oh, he's took my trainers and I'm left with a size 10 pair of trainers. Oh my God. <laughs> it's just fucking, it's, at the time it was funny. I thought, fuck me, yeah, I'm fucked now. Right. And that was it then. So you served that sentence? Yeah. Served when does training career start? Like fighting mine, and weightlifting and what? Mine is, mine's always been in because of the Borsal days. You know what I mean? You get, it was the only way to freaking get rid of some frustration and anger. But I heard you became one of Britain's strongest men. Yeah, I did, yeah. I was, you know what I mean? It was, um, I, used to, I used to bodybuild. I'll be honest with you, I did bodybuilding and all that for a bit. Yeah. I went on stage, I, I won a competition, but I, I within months i just knew bodybuilding body is too hard yeah you have to starve yourself you, yeah i mean you can't you can't do nothing then i went into powerlifting with powerlifting i could eat what i want i could go eat drinking i can go do what i want that's how i you know what mean yeah that's <laughs> the first session we remember i was it oh, hey pj guess what your squat deadlift and bench come on at that stage yeah i mean because i thought i was the absolute bollocks at 11 12 stone until i met you <laughs> in when in my top my top of my game i was doing like in the gym we was doing a uh, in the 400 plus 450 squat um, in competition it was always over 400 uh, the bench I'd always bench 300 maybe a little bit more in the gym and then 280 
in competition a little bit more. Deadlift 350. Oh. And the thing is, I was only just getting good. Just getting good. If I'd have never five years at it, I think I could have been really good. So after the, the brewery turned out, the young kids stuff still yeah, going yeah, on yeah, and yeah. everything goes and all that. When did the armed robberies, when did it start then? Well, the armed robberies, like I said, I'm talking shit here now because, you know what I mean? Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. Well, I'll say it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It's, it's always been there. You so, know what I mean? Yeah, but... It wasn't there with the GBH. It wasn't no. there with a the thing. So you would Just have actually got the ideas from someone or people yeah. around you or whatever. Because um, when I met you, you was definitely serving a big sentence yeah. for our robbery. Yeah. On? Uh, that was just the local shitty post office. With? You know what I mean? With the, with the shotgun and all that. Code I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Adrenaline? Oh, for hey, this world. You know you know what it's like when you've got a gun in your hand? Tell me. It's, it's, it's scary. It's scary but fun. Power. Of course you are. You're the strongest man in the world, aren't you? Yeah, but you can get killed. Yeah. You can also kill someone. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you're like that. Well, you know. Them days. Them day, yeah, they, now it's like, now it's completely different. Then, I, you know what I mean? When I look at myself then, so I look at myself now, I think, how the fuck did I used to think like that? I used to die like that. Yeah, how could you think? How could you think walking around with a shotgun or a 9mm and think it was okay? now it's, it's like it's embarrassing you know what i mean it's like it's cringy when i think about it because when i got, I got kids and I, and I you know what i mean i would hate for them to think mm. it's okay yeah to break the law but we've all been got past i'm afraid yeah no so, yeah so now that's important so yeah. well, so coming out a few times like the first second so about relationships and because you had a couple of kids you, yeah we are here he's a bit of a ladies man but we, yeah yeah we yeah too much. So I, what happened when you stayed out you built members of you still yeah. committing Funding lifestyle. Yeah, I was just a career criminal. I lived and I bred crime. You know what I mean? I would. I couldn't walk. I couldn't go up the street without clocking someone and thinking, "That's money." It was like it was like a fruit machine. I was look. I looked to my right and I said, "Ching ching." Look to my left, "Ching ching." I could see money. I could see. I was just a money. I just wanted money. I was greedy. I never had a problem. Never had a drug problem. Yeah. I never. I just. I was just greedy. Yeah. I want money. And the money. buzz as well. Yeah, the buzz was there. You know what I mean? When you could go and do something yeah. and get away with it. Yeah. So what about so the strongest man in the world? That means you would have entered certain powerlifting strongman yeah. competitions. Yeah. I started off as fun because going back a while ago, I had, a, I had an accident where it sort of like it, I snapped most of my bones and all that. I, got, I broke all my ribs. Yeah. So I started lifting. I couldn't. I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't bench. I couldn't do nothing. I started yeah. from the basics again, and that's when I went into powerlifting. I thought, you know, I mean, there's only way I can get my strength back yeah, is by yeah. lifting heavy. Yeah. And then there was a, a gentleman who in the gym called Chris Starr. He was a powerlifter, and I yeah. said, just I said, teach me, show me what to do. Yeah. And then he taught me, and then I, I enjoyed it, and I just got good at it. And it was just like next minute, I become a British champion, and next minute I'm I'm in I'm being picked with the England team. Yeah. Things like that, and I'm going around the world. Yeah. yeah. What about them early, them, some of them, them, them training figures? Because you got into fighting a little bit as well. Yeah. I know you train kids now to fight. Yeah. Um, in the way that you do um, PJ. But who does those men? Because I heard some stuff about that, some security. What? Well, some other little bobs. You clarify it. There was a geezer called Flex, no? I don't go, got that wrong. Someone no, else. Be wrong, yeah. Yeah, but there were two standout um, fighters or people during those training careers and security work that you might have went on there was an incident way back in the day and it's um you got called on something well i'm always, what it is because i used to I, we used to own a security firm then right and i was always i was always the back man yeah i was never i never had a license and then that kind of no, crap so no. i couldn't go in there you know what i mean you know what i mean i'd always go in there probably just to clear up the mess things like that right you know what i mean you'd get you get someone who was pretty rough and then you can't you can't exactly tell them to leave or nothing like that you'd have to fucking you'd have to do some damage do you remember a geezer called I, I used to like a geezer from Bristol or Gloucester called Mikey Anderson yes Mikey he was in the Patrick Riots yeah he was in the Patrick Riots yeah yeah he got bird for it as well I never saw I liked yeah, him yeah you know? Mikey was yeah Mikey was, was the good guy stuff, yeah it? yeah there was him and there was a couple of other guys from Bristol I like. can't remember the names but they were yeah they were and good. you are is it fair to say I'll ask you on record now are you and Jermaine Rowbottom family Where, what it is he has got kids with my sister okay that's it Right. You know what I mean? Nothing else turn them out? No. Okay. Nothing. No comment. I'll ask him. Um, yeah. So, PJ, how many is that? 
I don't know, 20 minutes already. Right? He said he would have been doing more than 15 minutes. But look, another big question, and this, this one's a real funny one, I think, and I'm going to ask him, because many are telling me, let's ask him and let's see what he said. There's a rumour down in Gloucester that you got off with Rose West. Is that fact or fiction? Fiction. I would love to get off with her. <laughs> you know what I mean? She was a good looking girl. Tell us about Fred Rose West. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. Absolutely said, done the business today. Yeah, there's only one so, good thing that came out of Gloucester, and that was Fred West. You know what I mean? The bit I mean for crime history. And yeah. I, when I walked, sorry, when I walked yeah. down here, when I came down, the first thing, <laughs> when I come to Gloucester, it's about the fifth time I've come down here for a different variety of reasons, right? So I think the first thing I think about is Conway Road yeah, and Rose and Fred West. It's funny because I'll tell you a little story. I was doing a job in Gloucester one time and come on top, police are chasing us and I'm running. We've, we've got out the car and I'm running and unknown to me, I'm running into Fred West Garden, right? I've hit up a tree. My mate is running into next door neighbour's garden and hit up a tree. So now the police dogs have come in. Police dogs have come into Fred West Garden. I could see him. I'm looking at the police dog with a copper. He's going around sniffing. He's going around sniffing there. Going around sniffing there. He's lost. He's like... And I'm thinking he's going to sniff me in a minute. And then the copper's dog, the copper's like pissed off saying, come on, he took him out. The copper, the dog, picked up my mate's scent, went straight round there, up the tree and got him. You know what I mean? Got him straight away. And then, so I think it was a couple of years later, they found all the bodies in freaking Fred West Garden, didn't they? So me, I truly believe that dog was sniffing everybody's. You know what I mean? And got lost. Yeah, but weren't there and someone else you knew around um, the West family? Was it not the daughter, that some, another lady, a girl, there was another story um, that she tells about them, Fred and Rose West said it was... Oh, no, that was, just, that was just the daughters. It's just about, it's about their personal life, about, you know what I mean, like about Fred West, their, their, their nonsense and all that kind of crap, you know what I mean? But she, nothing happened to her? No, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean, they're nonsense, the daughters and all that. Yeah, you know, no, but everybody knows a, that. Someone said to me to, um, yesterday, they said... Oh, no, 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 no. What it is, I used, oh, to, I used to go out with a girl. I used to go out with a yeah, girl. Yeah, I used to go out with a girl, and I had to pick her up from Fro's, uh, from Rose's house. Rose's house. I, I, I knew them as Rose and uh, Fred, and my, my ex-girlfriend used to knock about with one of the daughters. Wow. You know what I mean? And I used to always think, I was thinking, how come they never done nothing to her? I think she was just too ugly. Don't you know what I mean? That's <laughs> the funny sisters and jokes about. That's a bit strange, she got away lightly. Yeah, I know. You imagine, because all the people they killed. I know. You know what I mean? Anything more you remember um, um, about them, Rose and Fred West? Because no. I know that you were. Ah, yeah, going. there is and everything as well. Just about. I got arrested one time. They accused me, allegedly, for um, taking his uh, prison photographs from Gloucester Jail. Tell us what's happening, because I heard you was in the jail when he hanged himself. Yeah, in Birmingham, yeah. Right. I was in it. Gloucester Jail when he came in there, because what it is, he came into Gloucester Jail to be. Um, processed for yeah. a couple of hours, yeah. and then what they did, they shipped him out to Winston Green. Then, and then two weeks later, I got shipped out to Winston Green. Yeah. And then obviously I was there when he hanged himself. You know what I mean? And Could then, you, go on. and then when when he was there, obviously they took his photographs, and allegedly I took the photographs and sold it to the Sun. Allegedly, lies. Well, I got arrested to it. For you got it. arrested. Yeah, of course, it. it was lies. Fact. It must have been the Ever Maguire. <laughs> oi, oi, but PJ. Did you expect him to take his own life? No, you don't, I don't know. You don't know. You don't know how people think, do you, or feel? Nah. You know what I mean? But was you surprised by it all when it, all, all, when everything I'll was be, found I'll out? I'll be honest with you. I didn't give a fuck. Give a fuck. You know what I mean? He's no. a fucking. Yeah. He's a fucking a nonce, isn't he? He's yeah. a. Ra he's a. Mer he just. The room, room it, yeah. Yeah. Best thing for him. Yeah, but room it, in your opinion, right? With cross the knowledge. Yeah. Well, he's the real manipulator out there. Oh, Rose, of... Rose. Listen, she's still doing it now, isn't she? Listen, you know anybody out there know? A woman can control a good man. Why Make him you, do anything. But why she must have had a fanny of gold. That's all I could say. He's a fanny. <laughs> Sorry. He's a fanny, isn't he? <laughs> Wait, but hold on. Why, why did he take his life and not her then? Because she got more balls. Or he wanted to make it look so she, he he'd done her a favour probably. <laughs> so that she gets he, she can say, Oh, it's all in. Yeah, she could, could do. Could be. Could be, yeah. Because that's why? What, why that's what, could, but, why? Yeah, but that's what the sort of thing we would do. So someone else would get off. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I wouldn't go that far. Because it's, it's strange. Yeah. It's just for you to face trial. Yeah, I know. Why not go and face the music? Well, yeah. there's a few that have done it, I suppose, so it's easier said than done. But she didn't, did she? No. So now but all that we know is everything what she says. Yeah, she's still there. Yeah, both as bad as each other. Yeah, some terrible two wrongs. I've heard some bad, you know what I mean? Some terrible crimes. Yeah. You've heard what? Just some bad <laughs> shit. Gloucester is always talking about them, like, you know what I mean? There's, people, there's a lot more people who's yeah. got off of it. Who was always going around there because they used to always have sex parties and that, didn't they? Yeah. You know what I mean? So a lot of well known names come up. Oh, God. Yeah. 
breeding ground for it all days yeah. to say the West Country, I'm afraid. Concerned. Gloucester, fucking, I'm embarrassed about it. I know. Do you know what I mean? I know, I know. I'm glad to say I'm from Wales. You're yeah. Mark Welsh as well, <laughs> funny enough, PJ. Yeah. Oh, PJ! <laughs> I wonder if the big man's going to be on his way in soon. PJ, there was something else I had to ask you as well. Oh, yeah, Phil Curry, we've just come from the yeah, funeral. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I That's the time, you know. yeah, I know, that's I know. the time in Long Lauren when I spent, I guess yeah. I spent five years in Long, five years in Long Lauren. Yeah. I don't want to talk about Long Lauren because Why? that place was the most dangerous place I've ever been to. Yeah. It was the most exciting place I've ever been to. Because we were like it at the time. Yeah, it was like, How I went in How did you do your time? I did, I'll, mine, I'll be honest with you, I went in there, right, I got, I got, I went in on remand. Oh, yeah, I was double e yeah, yeah, on remand. Yeah. Yeah. And when I went in there, I, I had a bank, so I thought, yeah, I could take anybody, I can fight anybody. I had that mentality. Yeah. I was young, I was strong, I thought, yeah, I loved it. Yeah. I went in there within a week or two weeks, I looked about it and I thought, yeah. what the fuck is this place? It's a fucking mental institution. Exactly. I think, I believe uh, to my... survive in there alive. <laughs> survive. PJ's a nuts. You have to keep, yeah, it is, you have There's to keep your wits. blind spots. Yeah. And, and the so, things, and the know. things I seen, I would never talk about no. because I don't feel comfortable because I still have friends and I don't want to insult them no. and I don't I just I can't talk about it because no. I'd feel like I it's like grass it's sweet but I won't do it yeah yeah all right so, so along, yeah. along those years of favorite favorite prisons that you like to find genuine and proper from different cities uh, no long line was the best jail I went to even though it was the maddest I had the most I met the most decentest people in there I had the most best fun. Think about some of them. Give us a few. Just, just like when you see the shoot, the shoot, the, the good stuff I talk about. Like when you see the screws getting shitted up, the one screw would always the dig you out. That you liked. Oh, the like. Listen, I, 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 there was uh, my main one who I'm really close with is from Manchester, and that's John Gray. You know what I mean? He very wise. He, is he yeah. going to come in or what, uh, PJ? Don't say it. Wait, let's hope so. What about <laughs> Liverpool? What about Birmingham? Oh, there's other people, PJ. There is. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, I, you know what I mean? I, I, there's certain people like um, Dave Smith. Yeah, he just made me laugh. Yeah, he just makes me laugh. I, like, you were, you, you got stories about people. He sang around with Gavin, didn't he? Gavin, yeah. And yeah. you got stories. You know what I mean? Dave would just come out, no matter what, oh, and just funny. make me laugh. Yeah. And I, I enjoy people like that. We're all doing, yeah. he's doing life. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. used to call me the baby baby lifer. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I was doing a little. I had a five year tariff. Yeah. They had bloody twenty five or thirty year tariffs. Yeah. But they were still full of life and funny. Yeah, because we had to be that. Yeah. Busy. You had. You know I mean? There's a couple of. There's a couple of people mm. like you could say like John O. You could John say o from Paul, Lincoln. Yeah. I like. He him. was funny. He was strong as fuck. Funny. What about that man Dennis. Den yeah, Dennis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dennis used from, to come where in. Was he from? Dennis. I'm not sure, but Dennis used yeah. to come in. I'm not joking. He looked like a gorilla. Yeah. He talked to you, and, yeah. it was just, and he had he had this mental strength. But oh, he's just, sorry about that, John. Oh, I liked him. You know. Yeah, yeah. Good on the rower. Yeah. Real, real lump. Yeah. Probably, I reckon, probably the hardest man to come out of Lincoln, me. I'd say John so. O. Yeah, but really. Richard Johnson. Yeah, but yeah. really, really, really nice and humble. Good geezer, yeah, man. Yeah, just fucking yeah. give you anything. That's what I loved about that place. Yeah. When you go to Long Lauren, 99% of the people would give you anything if you are yeah, proper. Proper. Then you go from Long Lauren to a sea cat, it's just full of scubs. Oh, what about, um, do you remember Tomo? Tomo, yeah, yeah. You liked him? Yeah, I loved him. He was just, he was, like I said, he was just bubbly. I think everybody picked each other up. You know what I mean? Someone would come in, if they were sad, they weren't sad mm -hmm. for five seconds. Yeah. Tomo was just, he was just like, it was just always having a crack. Gregor. Always having a laugh. Gregor. Greg, yeah, Gregor. yeah, Grego. I used to see him on the running machine. He's the one guy. I'm not joking. He wouldn't get off the running machine. He one time he was shitting himself on the running machine because he wanted to beat his time. The and weapon, he'd just get off. He'd the just laugh his head off. Fall out of his bum, did it? No, no. I no, saw no. that. It's fucking poopy. Grego from, Man from Manchester. So I reckon one of the most um, strongest, yeah. fittest little men that yeah. I ever come across. Um, so then you, Stevie Lydia, I heard you and him were close. Yeah, I wouldn't say we were close, but I, we were like we where we lived on the same wing for about three or four oh, years. Yes. You know when you like someone and you're you're humble with someone. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we always had time for each other. You could always see you yeah. know what I mean, he was He was kinda of cool, calm. Yeah. Never so really just, got his, his Never shit. I never seen him raise his voice, I never seen him so get weird, angry. How, how people describe yeah. stuff, but don't yeah. say a lot. No, nope. he was very quiet. He could come up to you and smile, it would say a thousand words. Oh, well, Andy Shatch never met him? No, no, no. I can't remember him. No, you're sweet. He couldn't have been there with you. No, was no, no, definitely not. Nah, London, not anyone. Kenny, John Palmer, who was around at that no. time, probably. The thing is, I wouldn't Rocky talk to many people. Nah. 
Rocky League. I'm, I'm sure that name. around there. The thing is, I wouldn't talk to many people. I was, I was saying, please, you tell me about different. Yeah, I just say that. Cold sweet. Yeah, I'd be polite. Stay there, man. Let me see if the big man's in there. I'm just yeah. saying, PJ, just say that. No problem. John, I'll beg you one minute. Please, just say hello. <laughs> Do that for me. Do something for me. Oh, no, you've done loads for me. Yeah, big brother come, PJ. Love you, Noel. Listen, right. buddy. PJ, I'll leave it to you. For that. I know you lot are screaming. I didn't get loads out of him, but I love you, PJ. My boy, man. Take it easy. JG. Yeah. Please. Just one minute. Just say hello. Second, Just say hello, please. He's a big man. Oh, yeah. Big man from Manchester. I just never want to show his face anywhere. But he's just standing here with me for the day. Um, Two minutes. JG, listen. Oh, no, I'll just ask him one thing, plain and simply. Go show your face, boy. Sit down in the chair, mate. Oh, oh, come on, John. Suck all that. If he was going to give anyone two minutes, any, two, all right, yeah, yeah, two minutes, give yeah. anyone just any do advice it, two minutes, just do it, from two that minutes. life to past life and that life, just a few words, saying hello, John Gray, my biggie, my bestie brother, that's him there. What would you tell people, John? Experience, you can't buy it. Right. Master chess, not drafts. Meaning? You're learning in life when you master chess, you know what I mean. Right. How you put things in place, yeah. life, obstacles will come at you. Yeah. yeah. Life is hard. Yeah. And that will teach you to front life. Anything comes at you, adapt. Yeah. Yeah? Eat clean. Yeah. Drink water, but yeah. don't eat a lot. <laughs> it's a load of bollocks. Eat clean. Party every month. Yeah. Moderation, yeah? Yeah. Everything in moderation. Do a lot of walking. Yeah. Don't hate on yourself, love yourself. Right. Because if you don't wake up every morning yeah. and you don't give you that satisfaction, yeah. you've got to love yourself. Be good, true to yourself, you know. You know, don't hate on anyone or judge anyone unless yeah. you walk in their shoes true. for a thousand miles. And everyone's there for you. Yeah. You know, I work around the world. Yeah. You know. Life's changed. No, I, I listen. Doing good things in the community. Listen, right? I tell you the truth, yeah. Go on. I can't tell anyone to do anything, yeah. But what I would say is, yeah, is read biographies two a week, books. Yeah. Write a lot. Yeah. Sack telly. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. And them games. Yeah. It's all and propaganda. Yeah. Don't listen. Go where your heart is. And I tell you something else. On, John. I don't speak to hardly no one. I know you don't. I know. You know why? Yeah. Because. Human nature, yeah. it just happens. Right. You know, true to yourself. To find yourself yeah. as a man or a human being, gotcha. look in the mirror is hard. Yeah. Don't worry about what people say. No. What I mean is, you're going to get propaganda. Yeah. You could be heavyweight champion of the world. Listen, you get beat once, yeah? Everyone hates you. Mugs, you people thought I got beat once, Jack Russell's will come and piss on me leg. I don't give a fuck. The end of the day is, yeah, you've got to be true to yourself. Don't be jealous. I hate being jealous. Eh? I help people not taking responsibility for their life. No, but so that's an interesting note for Jay, just to stop there. Right, but I'm going to get when, off. When, when you lose a fight and you're, you're, you're your best friends, you're going to be well yeah. trained. The minute you lose, what you're really saying listen, is you find best, out who Listen, your the best thing in life, yeah, yeah, is learn, learn things. And the best people who teach you that is your enemies. Right. But when you start getting jealous and hating on people, yeah. there's so many people do this out of war. Yeah. Out of war. yeah. Horrible. I tell you the truth, yeah? yeah. When I was younger, you know, I was with like the Mafia, yeah, 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 yeah. the Russians. Yeah. I'd never ever mentioned names. Yeah. You had him, the general from Ireland, yeah? Yeah. I used to graft over there. I remember. Yeah? Do you know what he said? Go on. As soon as you work with civilians, yeah, it's the hardest in the world. Because they will they will take you and tear you apart. I help civilians in there, that age, yeah? I swear. When we come out, no civilians helped us. When I was with the Italian Mafia, you know what they said? Yeah. Every now and again, we've got to take a civilian out, yeah? And I said, you can't hurt civilians. And you know what? Women and children are our future. And you've got to look after them. I, I love you, you Yami. Fucking hell. He's so powerful. Listen, don't know, right? He doesn't really care about podcasts, right? I've had Hollywood, they're going to do a film about him. He hasn't even made up his mind. That's come through me to ask him about his life. Ball rings, the Hume, the beginning of time in Manchester. Um, other people coming in. Um, um, Netflix, all, all that kind of stuff. I, just, I don't think he's really interested in talking about anything. He's just done his time. He's a straight going now. He's a businessman. That's how it is. But if he did go in to do films, he told me to just tell you lot this, you lot, for all that love down in Manchester and Ireland. And he's a Glaswegian as well, wrapped Carruthers and all that, right? I didn't want to go into that. I didn't ask him nothing. So what cut how he is. Now, 
um, if he does do film or book, he won't be mentioning real names. That's all he's told me to tell you. He'll be doing nicknames, all right? If he does, but it could be a long way off. Sending plenty of love for you. Um, see you all later.